Hey everyone, welcome to your university, the place where we talk all about the Dragon Ball universe. Today, we are going to go through Vegeta meeting King Sadala and the planet Vegeta of Universe 6. And if you would like to see more Dragon Ball content, please leave your like and subscribe to join our university. While Dragon Ball had Son Goku meeting new friends and rivals while searching for the mystical Dragon Balls, it was Dragon Ball Z that made a shocking revelation Son Goku is not just a monkey-tailed warrior. He is, in fact, a say in a proud race of warriors who can tap into a fighter's instinct. It is this heritage that allows him to tap into more powerful Super Saiyan forms mythical forms forms from the Dragon Ball legend. As revealed in Dragon Ball Z, Son Goku, as well as Vegeta and their respective families, are the only remaining Saiyans in their universe, making them bearers of a vast heritage. What is most interesting is how Vegeta's name is actually from his home planet, Planet Vegeta. But after all, could Vegeta from our Universe 7 travel to meet the one from Universe 6? What do we know about him? Could he meet King Sadala and this whole planet? Let's talk about all of that in today's video. Universe 6, the Challenge Universe, is the sixth of the 12 universes in the Dragon Ball series. It includes planets, stars, and a multitude of galaxies. Universe 6 is connected to Universe 7, creating a twin universe. Being a twin universe, almost identical to Universe 7, any planets that existed and or exist in Universe 7 probably also existed or exist in Universe 6. Most planets are unknown, but Universe 6 is known to have an Earth. Although the Earthlings on that world ravaged it with wars, rendering the species extinct until Beerus revived the planet and all its inhabitants with the Dragon Super Spheres. The planet Sadala, which was destroyed in Universe 7, still exists in Universe 6. It is the universe with the 10th lowest mortal level. Universe 6 is eventually erased during the Tournament of Power. Universe 6 is restored along with all of its inhabitants through Android 17 Wish after winning the Tournament of Power. In the manga, Universe 6 is now ranked second in mortal level due to Universe 7 desire to increase theirs. The god of destruction of Universe 6 is Champa, the Supreme Kai is Fuwa, and the angel is Vados. Within this universe, there is the planet Sadala, this being the home planet of the Saiyans. While the Sadala planet of Universe 7 is also the original home planet of the Saiyans, however, the planet is soon destroyed by internal conflict and discord caused by the Saiyans living there with a Super Saiyan involved in some capacity. Capacity. The Saiyans living there moved to another planet, Planet Plant overthrew it and renamed it Planet Vegeta. Planet Vegeta, formerly known as Planet Plant, is the home planet of Goku, Vegeta, and all the other native Saiyans, Tuffles, and the inhabitants of Plant in the Dragon Ball franchise. In Dragon Ball GD, Baby wishes for the Supreme Shenlong to restore Planet Vegeta to the Earth's solar system. Upon being restored, Baby renames the Planet Planet Tuffle, also called New Planet Plant or Planet Tuffle. It exists in Universe 6 under the name Planet Tuffle. Planet Vegeta was not the native planet of the Saiyans, but planets Adal was, and they only moved to planet Vegeta after Sadal was destroyed. When Vegeta led his people against the Tuffles in a decades-long war on planet Plant, his success in defeating them hailed him as their ruler. Not only did he become King Vegeta, but the planet was renamed in his honor. As such, when King Vegeta had a son, he also named him Vegeta, in honor of himself and the planet. This may explain why Vegeta himself has a strong sense of Saiyan pride, considering that he literally carries the name of not only his father, but the entire world. Although Planet Vegeta is the namesake of King Vegeta and Prince Vegeta, the planet was not actually the Saiyan's homeworld. Instead, it was Planet Sadala that served as the home planet of the Saiyan race. In Universe 7, it was because of internal conflict and discord as well as the rage of the first legendary Super Saiyan Yamasi that led to the destruction of the home planet. The Saiyans then relocated to Planet Plant, which they renamed Planet Vegeta after overthrowing its rulers. Meanwhile, Universe 6 had Planet Vegeta intact, with King Sadala as its ruler. While the Saiyans are already hard on each other with their warrior base culture and pride in their strength, it seems that Planet Vegeta is the perfect home to exercise these traditions. According to its appearances, Planet Vegeta seems to possess gravity at least 10 times stronger than Earth's, 
implying that the planet is much denser and or much larger than Earth's. It is because of this gravity that the Saiyans have developed a natural resilience and durability in their bodies. However, evolution on the planet means that Saiyans generally have smaller bodies, which explains Vegeta's height difference compared to Goku. In terms of geography, the planet appears to be a desert world with a red or yellow sky and two moons. When Goku's father, Bardock, was sent into the distant past due to Frieza's supernova, Bardock arrived on what he thought was a distant planet inhabited by a race of low, purple-skinned humanoids. Known as the Plant Dwellers, these humanoids appeared to have an organized structure, with their mysterious healing liquid being an item of interest to Lord Chilled, apparently of Frieza's race. Bardock soon realizes that he has traveled to a distant past, with Frieza's ancestor, Lord Chilled, already showing interest in the planet. As Bardock transforms into a Super Saiyan to save the inhabitants of the planet, it is interesting how generations of Frieza's race have consistently sought an invasion on the planet. Thousands of years after the plant dwellers settled on Earth, Planet Plant became home to the Tuffles humanoid beings with physiology similar to humans. They are specifically known for their technological advances, courtesy of their race's innate high intelligence. One such Tuffle, Dr. Leechy, was able to create a machine that could turn the dead into ghosts and even create fighting robots. Unfortunately, the advanced nature of the Tuffles was no match for the Saiyans who came for a full-scale attack on the planet. Their smaller and weaker physiques made them small fry for the persistent Saiyans who eventually conquered their land. When the Akrasians and King Cold discovered planet Vegeta and its inhabitants, they fell in love with the Saiyans' love of fighting. As such, they employed them as part of the planet trading organization to subjugate or destroy other planets, especially at the time when King Cold's son, Freza, became the leader of the organization and had an immense desire to rule the universe. The plan to use the Saiyans in this way was also extremely practical. The planet Vegeta became a military training base, already complementing his warrior culture. Furthermore, Freza now directed younger Saiyans with low battle power to devastate various planets and kill their inhabitants, so the empty planets became more profitable. However, as the Saiyans developed rapidly, Freza became concerned that their strength would be enough to take him down, and although Freza is proud, he is actually afraid of the Super Saiyan of legend. As such, it was at the suggestion of Zarbin and Odoria that Freza should finish off the Saiyans. When King Vegeta realized Frieza's plan, they began a conspiracy to overthrow him. And when Bardock became the sole survivor of an attack on his task force, he tried to attack Frieza, but unfortunately was overwhelmed by the tyrant's power. Knowing that the Saiyans already knew of his rebellion plan, Frieza finally executed his plan to destroy the planet once and for all. During an anime filler, King Kai mentioned that Planet Vegeta actually had a guardian who was disgusted with the Saiyans and their horrible behavior that he decided the race should be destroyed with a meteor shower. Interestingly, both Dragon Ball Super and Resurrection F reveal that the God of Destruction Beerus actually played a role in the destruction of the planet. In fact, he approached Frieza and asked him to destroy the planet due to King Vegeta to being petty. While Freza had his own reasons for destroying the planet, he may have taken the God of Destruction's request seriously. While there is a general description of what happens inside Planet Vegeta from the colonists' point of view, the external view has always seemed different depending on where it is shown and the people talking about it. For example, Bardock. The father of Goku showed the planet as red, while Dragon Ball GT showed it as green and blue in a flashback. Meanwhile, Dragon Ball plan to eradicate the Saiyans had the planet appearing as white and blue in the original and remake versions, respectively. When spoken to, Raditz mentioned that it has rings, while King Kai and Odoria mentioned that the planet looked more like Earth. It was during the events of Dragon Ball GD that Baby Vegeta actually wished for Planet Vegeta to be restored to its former glory. This was accomplished through a wish from Ultimate Shenlong, 
who then brought the planet into the solar system. When planet Vegeta was restored, baby Vegeta then sent his mind-controlled minions to the planet and became its ruler. Although Goku went to the planet and stopped baby Vegeta's fury once and for all, it appears that the planet and its inhabitants remained within the solar system after the battle, with the inhabitants now free from baby's control. The planet's Adala still exists in Universe 6, and Kaba is a Saiyan from the existing planet. According to Kaba, it is ruled by King Sadala, who has a strong and proud personality similar to Vegeta's. The planet is defended by the Sadala Defense Force, which is part of the Sadal army. However, the Defense Force usually stays out of the territory controlled by Caulifla's criminal gang due to their strength. In the anime, pterodactyls are shown as a native Sadala species. When Team Universe 6 lost in the Tournament of Power, Sadala was erased with the rest of Universe 6. It was later restored with the other universes erased. If Vegeta were interested in visiting it, he certainly could. Then he would be able to find the planet in its original state, as well as meet King Sadala and other residents of Universe 6. It would be interesting to see his reaction and comments about this planet, don't you think? Would you like to see this moment happening in the story? Leave your opinion in the comments. That's it. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for videos, don't forget to comment here below, because I'll be reading all of them as I always do. Also, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any content from your university.